In order for your students to take a survey that you create, you will have to open up the permissions. So let's do that by going into our survey and click on Collaborate. And there are two parts that we want to take a look at in regards to opening up permissions. First is sharing the survey. And so if we scroll down to who can submit to this survey, we have three options. We can select everyone and that's the whole public. We can check off members of the RUSD organization. That's everyone within Redlands that has an ArcGIS account or a specific group. And you can create um, a group for each period. So if you only want your period two students to fill out the survey, you can limit it to that group of students. There are some other options down here, multiple submissions, um, depending on what type of survey it is, you may want them to just fill it out once or multiple times. And then if you want, you can close the survey and um, therefore survey submissions will not be accepted. Once you go through and select everything that you want, click save. And then you can share the survey using the provided link or even the QR code. The other place that you want to take a look at is share results. So the results is what we want to open up when we are sharing the web map or even our data page. and the analyze page. So as discussed, students can see this information. They can then see it in spreadsheet form and a rough map. Or if you take this information and turn it into a web map and update the symbology, then they can view it that way as well. And so to open up that aspect of viewing, you would have to go to share results and then select who you want to be able to view. Again, same options, everyone, that would be your public, everyone within RUSD who has an ArcGIS account, and then um, you can limit it to a specific group. And then you do have choices here, what data can viewers see. Um, if you're showing the results of your web map, you probably want to keep it at all records in this survey. Once you make your decisions, click save. And you can share this link, which is different than the survey link, to your students.